So good afternoon. I'm here with Ian Murray, who, uh, amongst his many other roles, is coached to the uh, dominant Gotta Love It 7. One day to go in, the results already in the bag. Now, this time last year, it was head-to-head -head between this boating and Thurlow Fisher, and I know you had a big chat with your team going into that today. Whole different story. They've already won the regatta. What will your brief be today? Oh, I think today is, you know, have some fun. The guys are pretty keen to go out and see if they can, you know, have a clean scorecard at the end of the week. And, you know, it's, it's good that they want to go out and, and, and do their best. Now, many years ago, I think you won this regatta with a straight set of first. They're not quite going to do that, but uh, an impressive performance from your team. Yeah, you know, look, at, the guys have had a bit of a tough year, you know. And they came out and started well at the beginning of the year and the States and Australians didn't go their way and then Sam's been away and, you know, and... Um, you know, so the, the last two or three weeks has been a very big effort in the sailing and preparing the boat and making sure it's all absolutely right. And really, the, look, the boat's beautiful, you know, for, uh, um, you know, one of these boats. The detailing of it's immaculate and the preparation's good. And obviously, look, they've been sailing it impressively. And um, so, you know, with, you know, some good speed, good reliability and great tactics and fantastic crew work, that's the result. Well, you're talking about uh, you know, high-performance boats in your other life. You uh, look after the uh, America's Cup, uh, head of America's Cup race management. Now, in many ways, there's some similarities, aren't there? There's a high-performance one-design boat, the AC45, as is this boat here. Yep. And also, in the AC45, we tend to find one or two teams dominating as well. What are, what are those factors? Why is it that a team can almost dominate in AC45s? And in this event, your team is dominating. What do you have to do for that performance? Look, you know, they're both very similar things. They're high-speed sailing. It doesn't matter whether they're cats or monohulls or skiffs or whatever. They're high-speed sailing. When you have high-speed sailing, the wins and losses are big. You know, you make a mistake, you pay big. And I think what's here is that we've had a crew that's been together, you know, for two or three years now with, with Scott on. Um, obviously, everything's going well on board, the manoeuvres and everything. And it's, sailing the boat is more mechanically second nature to them. And I think now with that time in the boat that the crew were gelling is that they're really looking around the harbour you know they're strategically starting and that sort of you know their leg ahead is where it needs to be and I think that's really showing on the race course. Now are we seeing that in AC45s with teams like Team New Zealand and maybe the the best Oracle team? Yeah I think any team that has guys on that can sail the boat fast while looking around are going to be winners and um, so it's it's all these teams, you know, if you come together and you're spending your whole time just looking in and figuring out how to sail the boat, you're going to miss what's going on around you. And I think that's the big difference is you can sail the boat fast with your blindfold on. And, you know, my good friend Victor Kovalenko, he makes you sail blindfolded. Um, and it's a really good thing because it, it, it does, it puts that skill of sailing the boat back into the boat and allows you to actually race the boat. Has anyone achieved that level in the America's Cup 45 class? Oh, look, there's some very good teams, you know, fantastic sailors and look you can see how well the Australians are respected in the America's Cup you know that all through all the teams there's really strong Australian Olympic young guys and um, it's uh, you know it's and it all comes from this background of you know down here sailing high performance high speed boats. Uh, last question Ian talking about high performance we know that next year the America's Cup moves on to the AC72 you will have probably seen more than anyone else what these boats might look like none are actually launched at this point if we had a day like we may well have in San Francisco like Tuesday 25 to 30 knots with gusts and waves what do you think is going to happen in San Francisco will they be racing will they be surviving will it be a spectacle what's your prediction look they are going to be surviving and but the they're all prepared for it. They've designed their boats and they're strong enough. And uh, look, there's a lot of things. Obviously, the crew work and sailing those boats, you know, three or four jibes down a three-mile leg, six, mi six minutes for three miles. The crew work's going to need to be unbelievable just to sail them. But, you know, they'll have tilting boards and boards that lift the hulls out of the water. So the nose diving and all of that, I think, will be OK with the 72s, more so than we've seen on the 45s. But, look, they're going to be a hell of a day for a 72 on San Francisco Bay. We're, we're really in for a treat. Well, uh, certainly watching these guys race on Tuesday, we felt we were in for a treat there. We loved every second of that. Um, did it uh, bring back some memories from your days on the Sydney Harbour? Yeah, look, you know, as you know, these boats are very fond of my heart and very close. And, um, you know, that's why I make, you know, the effort. And here we are 34 years later, um, you know, and it's very close to 
you know, the, the root of Channel 7, the core of Channel 7 and supporting Sydney Harbour and, and you know, these classic boats and, uh, you know, look, I'll go to my grave with wonderful memories of 18 footers. Well, thank you uh, for your words and uh, congratulations this week. An awesome performance uh, in Murray, coach of Channel 7. Uh, maybe we'll see you doing the same again next year. Hope so.